So this is my 2022 Z900 RS SE. It's Saturday today. I picked it up uh, on Monday. I haven't even started it yet because I've been uh, cleaning it because I got caught in the rain bringing it home on the trailer. It's got one kilometer on the odometer. That's one kilometer on the delivery case. So I've put the OEM grab rail. I've got the mustard tape tail tidy. Got rid of the, the long one. Um, I've got the EvoTech radiator guard that I've put on. I've put on the Speedo Angel um, protector, you know, like you put on your phone on the on the dials and the center screen. I've put my dual horns on, which are off my other RS, which I will be selling. And I'm about to take off the center stand from my other RS, which is, I only bought this this year. In February, it's now September. This has got 1,941 kilometers on it. I'll be taking off that center stand and putting it on the SE. So this was immaculate, this bike. Anyway, I'll do another uh, thing on that. But I'm stoked to be able to get hold of this SE model. Island's rear suspension, Brembo front brakes. I love the gold wheels. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I reckon it's just sensational. Yeah, very good. Uh, I also wired in the quad lock wireless charger. You have to take the tank off to do that, so I've taken all that off and wired it in underneath the tank and plugged it into the cigarette lighter outlet underneath there with a USB adapter, which then that's off my other bike too. I took that off that bike. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, there's my CRF450L over there for adventure riding. So here's both the bikes. I will be selling the green one. But geez, have a look at the paint on the green one. I, I, I've detailed this when I first bought it and I, I paint corrected all of the paint because it has micro swirls in it. And then I um, <coughs> ceramic coated everything. And I also put paint protection, uh, yeah, paint protection film, you know, on the sides of the sides of the tank, the front of the tank, the sides of the, uh, the side fairings here and on the other side. There's paint protection film on there, so that'll protect it forever. I didn't bother doing the back bit. Uh, maybe I should have, but might do that on the RS. The, um, like, have a look at the the paint. You know, on the metallic green one, it's just beautiful. And I do expect you can see I can see micro swirling on the on the black and this. It's it's needs to be paint corrected as well. But I'm just waiting on some more paint protection film to be delivered so I can do this and I'll I'll paint correct it all and do that. But I do expect that once I uh, paint correct this, it'll really pop. I mean, it's good, but it's not not good like this green. You know, that's just sensational. But there's both the bikes. Bloody great bikes. Best bike I've ever ridden on the road, I reckon. Most comfortable. I'm 51, I think. Um, I do. I, I do have an old VFR under that cover over there, and. I love that bike, but the V4, um, I had one brand new back in 96. Now, I've got the retro badges, tank badges, to replace these ones. 
that all they, they match in with the side decals so I'm going to uh, remove these ones put those ones on so I'll get all that done before I detail the tank like you know paint correct it and ceramic coat it so as it's all just schmicko ready to go okay so I've removed the tank badges and I'm going to put the retro tank badges on so these are the ones that come on the bike I remove them and I'm putting these ones on but I I did use thinners to get the uh, residue of the um, the badge sticky um, backing off and it's quite harsh so I ended up just giving the tank a quick uh, cut and polish with my um, HD cut and HD polish on my random ore bottle just a quick one you know I didn't I didn't take the tank off or anything just just around this area and I, I did across there as well but um, I don't know if you can see but I only did one pass but the already you can see the metallic glitter coming out in the tank from the picture I took before so I've just given it a clean um, and I've wiped it down with some um, prep paint prep to um, prepare the surface for me to put the new badges on all right oh, I forgot to mention earlier I actually um, the lens here has got a um, paint protection film I put that on yesterday or the other day um, for anyone that wants to do this it's a 170 millimeter circle because it's concave you've got to work at it a bit uh, sorry convex you've got to work at it a bit to, to get the water out of the sides and get it to, to stick down but you know good protection for your headlight all right I'll carry on putting these badges on okay retro badges fitted I think they suit the bike much better than the original sort of brushed chrome ones. Looks heaps better. Heaps better. Nice island shock in the back there. Remote preload adjuster. Now, if it only stopped raining, I'd be able to go for a ride. Okay, so finished with the tank badges, center stand, horns. Headlight protector, speedo protector, quad lock wireless charger, put the grab rail on, it's on the SE, put the grab rail on, um, and I've also put underneath the seat, which uh, you can't see, are um, the straps for my little tail bag when I want to put that on so there you go there's the uh, the SE the standard RS and there's my 95 VFR 750 Got the Omro pipe on the VFR sounds grouse not bad for a uh, 27 year old bike rides beautifully I've um, replaced a lot of the wear components on that all the suspension and brakes. Actually, I haven't done the rear suspension, done the front suspension. Yes, very happy with the way those tank badges turned out on the SE. I think they look great. They should have come like that from factory. Much better than those standard ones. <laughs> 